Okay, in today's video, it's just a quick upload really. I've got a couple of things to chat about. The first thing being is the um, 3D files. We're releasing the 3D files and I've also released the STL files for anyone who wants to 3D print. Um, there'll be a link down below in the description where you can download uh, the Ske this SketchUp model, um, a DXF file if that works better for you, and the STL file for 3D printing. Um, I'll put a, bung a link down there uh, for that, just so people can print their own for experimental purposes. It's just handy. I get lots of people asking for that. Uh, and the other bit of news is I've discovered um, a couple of other ways you can use Wanga flanges. So in total now we have three different um, ways to build with Wanga flanges. Watch this. First way is screwing vertically into the end of any kind of strut material. This works with uh, timber, conduit or, or anything you can get a fastening right into the end. The second way is uh, fixing through the end of, of, a, of a strut material. This way you can use um, box section, which you might struggle to fix down, uh, or flat plate, uh, angle iron, T-section, anything like that where you need to get a, uh, you can only get a horizontal fixing in the end, that works. And finally plywood, if you screw, uh, if you cut the plywood the shape that you need, and then you just drill holes down the edge, you can uh, use a rock flange as an edge fixing. Like this, it's an example where you can see the wanger flanges go close to the edge and then each um, section is bolted together a bit like a hinge. That makes it possible to join any number of struts at any angle in nearly any material. Conduit bar, sticks and twigs out the garden, box section, and plywood. 